Imagine a world so vast, so infinite, that it births celestial bodies. Welcome to the universe, the cradle of stars. The birth of a star begins in the vast, sprawling realms of nebulae. These are colossal clouds of gas and dust, suspended in the infinity of space. Within these nebulae, gravitational forces start to play their part, pulling together these gases and dust into clumps. As these clumps grow denser and denser, they form a protostar, a hot, dense core at the heart of a new star. This protostar continues to pull in more and more material, growing hotter and denser. As the pressure builds, the gases ignite, sparking a nuclear fusion reaction. This fusion reaction is the heart of a star, the engine that powers its light and heat. And so, from the cosmic dust, a new star is born. Once born, a star embarks on a journey of equilibrium, a journey we call the main sequence. This phase is the star's prime time, its longest period where it spends the majority of its life. In this stage, a fascinating cosmic ballet unfolds. A delicate balance is struck between two colossal forces. On one hand, we have the relentless gravitational forces, constantly pulling everything inward, trying to crush the star under its own weight. On the other hand, we have the power of nuclear fusion, a process occurring in the star's core which pushes outward against gravity's pull. This nuclear fusion is not just a simple pushback against gravity. It's a celestial forge where hydrogen, the lightest and most abundant element in the universe is transformed into helium, the second lightest. This transformation isn't without consequence though. Energy is released in this process, a tremendous amount of energy. And this energy is what we see. It travels across the vast cosmos, reaching our planet as the light we see twinkling in the night sky. Each twinkle is a testament to the nuclear fusion happening millions and billions of kilometers away. So, the next time you look up at the stars, remember they're not just shining. They're in a constant struggle, a fight against gravity, a fight for equilibrium. In this delicate balance of forces, the star shines bright, illuminating the universe. As stars age, they evolve, growing into either gentle giants or retiring dwarfs. Now, let's delve into how the mass of a star determines its ultimate fate. Think of the cosmos as a grand stage where stars are the main performers. Each star begins with a set amount of hydrogen fuel. Larger stars with their vast reserves burn through their fuel at an incredible pace. As they exhaust their hydrogen, they start expanding and turn into what we call red giants. These stellar titans can grow to over a hundred times their original size, dominating the night sky with their radiant glow. Now let's consider the smaller stars. These stars are more conservative with their fuel. They burn their hydrogen slowly, extending their lifetime significantly. As they age, they don't expand like their larger counterparts. Instead, they cool down and become red dwarfs. These retiring stars can continue to glow, albeit faintly, for billions of years, like cosmic embers in the vast fireplace of the universe. So, whether a star becomes a giant or a dwarf depends largely on its initial mass. This cosmic transformation from a young star to a red giant or a red dwarf is a fascinating spectacle of nature. It's a testament to the ever-changing, dynamic nature of our universe. Whether a giant or a dwarf, every star must face the inevitability of change. And with that thought, we'll move on to the grand finale of a star's life cycle in our next scene. Every story has an end, and so does the life of a star. But fear not, for the end is but a spectacular beginning. Just as we have the final act in a play, stars too have their grand finale. This is the end stage of a star's life a stage that is as beautiful and dramatic as its birth. Large stars, those many times the size of our sun, meet their end in a spectacular explosion known as a supernova. This is no ordinary explosion, it's a cosmic firework display that can outshine entire galaxies. But what happens after the fireworks? The remnants of these celestial giants don't just disappear, they leave behind a dense core. This core, incredibly compact and heavy, is known as a neutron star. But sometimes, if the star is massive enough, it collapses under its own gravity into a point of infinite density, creating a black hole, a region of space where not even light can escape. On the other end of the spectrum, we have stars like our own sun. These stars have a more subdued yet equally fascinating end. As they exhaust their fuel, they gently shed their outer layers. This celestial shedding leaves behind a white dwarf, a dense, hot core that cools over billions of years. The outer layers, meanwhile, drift away, creating beautiful nebulae that may one day form the building blocks of new stars. From birth to death, the life of a star is a cosmic ballet of change and renewal, a testament to the endless cycle of the universe. Each star, whether it ends as a supernova, a neutron star, 
a black hole, or a white dwarf, contributes to the cosmic recycling process. Elements formed in the heart of these stars are returned to the universe, ready to become part of new stars, planets, and perhaps, life itself. So, the next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember the extraordinary journey each star has embarked upon. Each twinkle is a tale of cosmic birth, life, death, and rebirth.